guys welcome to today's vlog I'm trying to get this cap on top of this bottle so I'm a little disappointed today's Saturday and Bay and I were supposed to have a date night like a date night out outside of the house and it's raining it's really wet outside. I'm not one to call God's weather nasty because I understand we need the rain and without the rain, we wouldn't be able to survive here on earth. <laughs> so I don't call the weather nasty. I just dislike being outside in the rain. I love when it rains when I'm home. It can be a hailstorm, a thunderstorm, whatever it needs to do. But when I'm in the house, when I'm out, as much as I love going out, I just cannot, if it's raining, like if I have plans with someone, and it starts to rain, just know that I'm canceling, okay? And I get a free pass because it's raining. Like, I don't mind the cold. I can get cold, I have warm coats, I have furs, you know what I mean? Like, I can be warm in the cold, but the rain, it's just something about toting around an umbrella, the hair, the makeup, the shoes, the, it's just too much. So it's raining all day and I just don't wanna be out in it. So, but I do have some good news. So Bay decided that he will film a, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. I'm not sure if we're gonna do a his favorite date night fragrances or a guess my fragrance, like I guess my fragrances. I'm not sure. It's gonna be something fun, something real chill. Um, I made eggnog and it's spiked as you may imagine. <laughs> Not spike too much because we're both, well, is he a lightweight? He's a lightweight now, but um, I'm definitely a lightweight. So yeah, we won't be doing too much drinking around these parts because uh, I won't be able to record. I won't be able to, it, it'll just be too much. Like I'll be sleeping. <laughs> That's what it'll be. It'll be you watching me sleep. So I decided to do... A get ready with me because some of you have been asking me and I'm flattered about my makeup and I'm like oh I do cute makeup okay I'll take it um so I just figured I'd do a quick little soft glam nothing too serious nothing too over the top just something you know, so I can do the video and also film a couple of reels. Um, so I did get my nails done today, although it was like super pouring. Like I got my nails done. It's like this pretty red color and I got a snowflake, <laughs> two snowflakes. And then on my toes, it's red. And then I got like some type of a cabin with a Christmas tree and it's snowing. It's real cute. It's real extra, real cute. So that's what we have going on. So you will see the video that Bay and I are going to film tonight. You'll see that on Thursday. So stay tuned for Thursday's video. That should be a good one. So let me just get my little things together here. I was so looking forward to going to Budokan. We're going to go to Budokan in the city. And that's another thing, like going all the way to New York, although there's restaurants out here, like nice restaurants out here that we go to, but I just haven't been to New York in a minute, like out in New York. We've been just staying local. And I have my mirror down here, so if you ever see me looking down, that's why. So yeah, we've just been staying local Sometimes going to New York, that drive, it takes the F out of fun. Like it just, everything just takes long. Like it takes long to get there. It takes long to come back home. Like everything is just long. And after you eat and have some drinks in you, it's like, uh, the journey. What am I looking for? I am looking for, do I wanna use this brush? Yeah, we'll just use that brush. So I'm not doing anything crazy, guys. Just a quick beat. 
There's a pimple here that does not want me to be great. Right there. Ugh. I hate putting makeup on like over pimples. I know this looks like a lot of foundation guys, but it's really not because I just didn't take enough product the first time. So I wanted to thank you guys for my last vlog, like all the feedback that I got. You guys are so awesome. Like seriously. One thing that I was really surprised at. You can tell I'm tired because I usually do my eyebrows first. I don't even know how we got here. Like how do we get here? But I'm gonna just have to fix it. Um, One thing that I'm really surprised at where you guys were really um, thankful or commending me for being honest about getting my fragrances for free or getting some fragrances for free. Do people lie about that? Because, I mean, I don't know. I guess they do because I've gotten a lot of comments. Like a lot of you guys were like, thank you for being transparent of how you actually get your fragrances. So I just started to assume that people are not honest with how they get their fragrances. But why would somebody lie and say they pay for it if they didn't? To me, it shows the growth in your channel, the growth in your brand, that brands are actually reaching out to you to send you product. You know what I mean? So why lie and say you bought it when it was sent to you? When you see a channel and they're getting things sent to them, they're getting paid sponsorships, that means that channel is doing well, that person is growing, and they no longer have to spend so much money on fragrances because brands are now sending it to them. So someone lying about that is kind of crazy to me. But I guess they do because like I said, you guys were like, thank you for being honest and transparent. So I just thought that was really funny. Cause I'ma tell you, yeah, this was sent to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? This gross over here, she's getting deals. <laughs> but speaking of that, and now that we're just like sitting here chatting, um, I can actually elaborate more on that for you guys that wanna create content. Just know your worth. You know what I mean? Like, just because you're a small brand or a small channel, whatever it is that you're working on, everybody has to start from somewhere. You know? So don't shortchange yourself just because you feel like, oh, I'm small. Like, request your money. I had a brand reach out to me. First of all, brands have been reaching out to me a lot. And I'm not going to name any names. But... Brands have been reaching out to me a lot, but the right deal hasn't um, come along yet for me for me to say, all right, I'm going to bring this to my channel. Because if I bring something to this channel, best believe it's something that I believe in. Like, I'm not going to talk about something that I don't use or wear just, just for the sake of talking about it. You know what I mean? Like, last, this is why, and I'll um, address someone's question before, because someone asked why I don't use um, like affordable fragrances or inspired by fragrances. And I'm gonna give you an example. Last year, what color is this? I'm sorry. Okay. So last year, actually around this time, um, Dossier reached out to me and they wanted to send me some fragrances. So I was excited, like super excited. And I accepted the product and I spoke about it in a video. If you've been following me for a while, then you probably remember that video. And did the video and gave the fragrances away. <laughs> I gave the fragrances away after the video. And they've been reaching out to me. They reached out to me so many times since then because they wanted to do another collab. And I just told them straight up, like, I can't because it just feels like fake to me. I just, I, I can't see myself talking about it 
as if I'm wearing it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is a great, you know, I wear this in addition to, you know, like, I just feel like I can't because I'm really not wearing it. I have over, what is it? Over 240 something bottles of fragrances. And the majority of them are niche and high-end designer and, you know, just designer or whatever. I'm not reaching for dossier. Like, why would I? Like, if I have, for me, I know some people probably would say, well, you know, wear the dossier and save your whatever the niche brand is. But for me, it's like I buy my fragrances to wear them. I tell you guys all the time, that's how your fragrances will waste eventually because you won't, you like, you don't wear them. You have to wear them. So for me, if I'm getting the, like, if I'm, if I want to wear Tom Ford Lost Cherry or if I want to wear Baccarat Rouge 540, I'm just going to wear it because I have it. So I'm not going to wear the Inspired By. And if, and if you don't have it, then to me, that's a different situation because not everybody is going to spend x amount of dollars on fragrances i totally get that and you want that experience or you want that scent without having to pay that price tag so i get that but because i have the fragrances why would i reach for the inspired by it just doesn't make any sense i have too many fragrances for that so i don't save my fragrances if i want to wear baccarat rouge to the grocery store that's what i'm doing is it something I do all the time? No, but I may wake up in a very fabulous mood. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I might want to wear Clive Christian to the post office. That's what I'm going to do. There's no room for a dossier in my collection. So anyway, so I mentioned that just to say another brand reached out to me and I gave them a rate and they came back with like just... I mean, where they met me, they first of all, they didn't even meet me. Like, this is my rate. I could see if they met me in the middle. Child, they were still home. They ain't meet me nowhere. Like, I had to go to their house. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm like, this is crazy. Like, these brands are making so much money. And as a creator that has a very high engagement, because I feel like my engagement is, is high. I respond back to my comments all the time. I literally have a relationship with you guys because I love chatting with you. We chat on Instagram, we chat in my premiere, we chat in my comments, like we, we're always chatting. So don't try to shortchange me just because I'm not at 100,000, you know what I mean? I'm still what you consider a micro influencer. But micro influencers have reach don't don't like don't get it twisted because we actually engage with our following some of the creators that have millions and like 500,000 and you know upwards of 500,000 and sometimes even 100k they don't interact with their audience as much as someone with a smaller following so Don't be trying to shortchange the smaller following people just because of our number. Because eventually your channel will grow or your brand will grow. And your reach will extend further than, you know, you could have ever imagined. And that video or that ad is still bubbling on your platform. And still generating money for that brand who gave you pennies so pennies or nothing you know what i mean like i'm not doing anything for free bottles of perfume i have a link with so avantgarde.com but not a link um a code with so avantgarde.com so i actually make commission off of my sales but other than that Please don't disrespect me trying to give me free product because at the end of the day, I can buy my own perfume. Thank God. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Just elaborate that. Elaborate on that just a little bit. Because these brands out here are wildin'. 
see this is the worst so i usually do my eyebrows first and now i'm struggling this one doesn't look bad and i could i'm gonna fix it up but this one right here it's because the foundation it makes it so slick that it's hard for the um the eyebrow product to really adhere to the skin so i always i mean it could be done it's just more work like i'm going over it a thousand times like i would have been finished already What are you guys Christmas plans? Like, are you going away? Are you going to be home cooking? I'm cooking. Um, Thanksgiving, we had family over. And it wasn't too big, you know, because of the circumstances, honey. But Christmas is just going to be us. So I'm going to do a brunch and I'm going to make a nice salad, some garlic bread and lasagna. I want the oven to cook everything on Christmas. I don't want to be slaving in the kitchen. On Thanksgiving, I was in the kitchen all day. Like literally, I was in the kitchen all day. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I don't want that to be my fate come Christmas. I just want to make brunch and I'm doing a whole lot for brunch. Well, not really a whole lot. I think I'm going to do um, chicken and waffles. And I think Bay wanted French toast. He loves that French toast, guys. And a lot of you, when I, so when I did my French toast, a lot of you were saying, um, so I actually like to use brioche for my French toast. Um, but that actually was collard bread or challah bread because the brioche is always sold out. So I did, I was able to get some brioche the other day. So I'm ready for that. And then I'm going to do mimosas, of course. We're going to have peach bellinis. I may do some quiche. I'm not too much of an egg person. Bay is. Like, I can eat breakfast and not have eggs. I like boiled eggs. I prefer boiled eggs or even like a fried egg. I can pass on the scrambled eggs. I'm not that much of an egg fan. This concealer is so good. This is, um... Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I just wish the color... I wish I didn't have to use both of them. But the consistency and the coverage is everything. I like to go right up under my eye with my concealer. Because it looks like I have eyeliner on. Just from my lashes. It looks like I have a super tight line. So I go right up under. And that saves me from putting on eyeliner over there. Like I only put the eyeliner on the outer corners of my eye. And I'm wearing this Skims t-shirt, guys. This t-shirt is so comfortable. It's the soft, like literally, like it's one of the softest t-shirts ever. And I'm not even that type of person to really big up a t-shirt. But this t-shirt is worth it. I believe it was 40 something dollars. It wasn't $50 and it wasn't $30 either. So it was 40 something. I just wish they had more colors. 
maybe online but i got mine from nordstrom so <sighs> let me go with this beauty blender i should actually wash one instead of opening a new one like this is what i do i have all these beauty blenders and whenever it's time for me to do my makeup and there's more i just don't have enough hands to pick them up but there's tons more it's crazy i have my soap so what happens is i have all my beauty blenders here not all but i do have some more in back stock child like, i have so many but then i have these that they just need to be washed but instead of me washing them i just keep pulling for a new one so let me just wash one and get it over with and i have the beauty blender soap and i also have this liquid charcoal i got this you guys remember this right when i got this on the sephora vib sale so let me go ahead and wash this beauty blender i'll be right back okay guys so i'm back with a clean beauty blender but my battery's dying so let me charge up and i'll get back with you guys in a little while Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot You better been watching what you do None of that list you got, they gon' go through Are you being good, having you? Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot You better been watching what you do None of that list you got, they gon' go through Alright guys, so the next time you see me I'm not gonna have water in my cup Hint, hint, if you know what I mean but let me hurry up because he's being real impatient. And I don't want him to change his mind. So if I don't see you guys tonight because. <sighs> you feel me. <laughs> then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So talk to you soon. Bye. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing for sound. There's a long hallway. What? 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 Calm, calm what? Calm down. Calm down. What? You're still what? down. You're what? You're still down. What? You're still down. What? It's third what? quarter. What? It's third quarter. What? But you're still down. Who had a problem? What about it? What about it? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. The eggnog is not Come on. I told you. <laughs> it's it's nogging. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Monday. So Bay and I recorded our video on Saturday and it was so much fun. It was crazy. Like, guys, I'm telling you, when you watch it, you're gonna see. I told you guys, I'm such a lightweight when it comes to drinking. I'm a cocktail drinking girl and I'm a one cocktail drinking girl. Sometimes I try to be cute and fancy and I'll order a second cocktail, but I never ever finish it. And I'm definitely not a brown liquor type of gal. So we had the eggnog already spiked and then he had the nerve to spike it again while we were doing our video so child it was an eventful video to say the least it was a lot of fun um sunday came and we didn't do too much of anything i was literally like i was out of it on sunday it took me it was hard for me to get out of bed on sunday but i had to visit my mother so we visited my mother and um we i didn't cook like that was a furthest thing from my mind cooking so we went to eat we had cuban food not cuban um colombian food y'all it was so good i'm gonna leave a clip in so you can see it it was so so good Lune, yo me llamo Tosana y la gente me dice ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva El Jane es perfecto, gracias a sus raíces ¿Sabes? ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva Cuando con mi leona ah. cazando los hierbos ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva Yo soy de Fetor So, we had Colombian food 
and that was that so now today is Monday like I said and I'm on my way to Crate and Barrel we doing some real Martha Stewart ish today okay we on our Martha Stewart ish like we're multifaceted okay we can get on our city girls and we can get on our Martha Stewart and our Michelle Obama don't get it twisted so I'm on my way to Crate and Barrel because I want to make for dinner tonight and I only make it during the holidays and it's so simple shepherd's pie guys if you've never had shepherd's pie it's the easiest thing it looks so like fancy like you put a lot of work into it but it's the easiest thing it's ground meat and I use ground turkey um you can use frozen vegetables like frozen carrots and frozen peas and um potatoes so the thing is you got to make sure your meat is seasoned good like that's the trick it's not even a trick like that's the thing like make sure your meat is seasoned really really good so that's what I'm gonna cook today and then after that after we leave crate and barrel and I also need a teapot I got my tea kettle from home goods trying to be cheap well not trying to be cheap but you know trying to save money and I think I paid like $15 for it guys it's a hot mess I had to throw it away it looked nice but the quality was bad and it's just a hot mess like I said so I want to see if I can find a nice one at Crate and Barrel because I drink tea so it is an investment for me but I was just trying to be frugal you know when it came to that but I got rid of it and I need to get a nice good one nice stainless steel that doesn't stain hello home goods so I'm gonna do that and then after Crate and Barrel then I'm gonna head to the supermarket I have ground meat like I have tons of ground meat in my freezer but it took a while for me to decide what I was gonna cook today so I just I'm not I don't have time to thought anything out oh another thing I wanted to tell you guys so I'm gonna have all my videos out this week which is Tuesday I'm releasing a video Tuesday's video is actually you've already seen Tuesday's video by now but I'm releasing Tuesday's video and then Wednesday's vlog which is what I'm working on right now and then um, and then Thursday's video is gonna be the blindfold challenge that Ben and I did now after this week's videos next week I'm not gonna put out any videos I may put out a vlog it depends on what my week is looking like um, you know after Christmas or not my week my weekend is looking like it just depends but I'm not anticipating putting out a video next week because I just feel like I need a break from social media like a mental break from you know thinking about YouTube videos and what I have to do on YouTube I don't want that I just want to relax for you know next week and then come back with brand new fresh videos for you guys in 2022 by God's grace Abby um, so yeah, that's what I want to do. I'll put it in my community tab, but I'm just letting you guys know now that more than likely, if I do have a video out next week, it'll probably be a vlog and it'll be Wednesday. And I think I may do the vlog only because I did the vlog for December, you know, because I wasn't doing Vlogmas and you guys, some of you guys wanted me to do Vlogmas and I just couldn't commit and I didn't want to give you guys half ass videos. So the Wednesday Christmas videos that I had I may just end it next week Wednesday will be my last one you know for the season and I'll try to incorporate more vlogs within my channel within the new year because I'm coming up with a plan for me my channel my brand for 2022 because I feel like we could do big things and we're gonna start making this into more of a business than just for fun you know what I mean so that's what we got going on and let me pay attention to this road because these drivers are seriously trying my patience today i don't know if it's the holiday season or what it is but they're trying me so let me hang up this phone with y'all and pay attention to the road y'all and i will see y'all in a second Okay, so I'm driving safely now. <laughs> let me stop. Let me not say that. I am, I've always been driving safely, but I forgot to tell you guys that my fragrance of the day is Armani C Intense. Y'all, it is everything. 
everything it smells so good this is actually my first time wearing it outside of the house because you guys know that I had it on my tray and I'm so glad that I put it on my tray for this month and it may go on a tray for next month as well because it is really really good so we're about to head into crate and barrel so let go Okay, y'all so I found the ricer it's right here and I need to get up out of here because I also see a nice kettle that I like but I see everything else like look at these all right so I found this all clad one I just need to know if this is a cooling handle because if the handle's not cooling then that's going to defeat the purpose i have all clad pots i love the brand all clad so i think this one is cute so let's see if they have this in stock and if this handle is cooling y'all come get me up out of here get me up out of the crate and barrel because i'm i'm about to buy a whole new pot set i, I can't i can't please okay all right y'all so i'm making sangria on um christmas day for dinner well to go with our dinner and i'm thinking about these glasses here I feel like it can hold all the fruits and a lot <laughs> of wine. So I'm thinking about getting this one. This is really nice. Very chic. All right, y'all. So just left out a crate and barrel. Now I appreciate the Christmas music or the holiday music for the season to get me all, you know, enjoy a festive shopping experience. I appreciate that, trust me. But the copyright strikes do not appreciate it. <laughs> so I just had to show you guys some things, but I was very, very excited in Crate and Barrel. And I got my entire Martha Stewart life. So now I'm headed back to the car and then going to the supermarket. And this mask, I could barely even breathe, y'all. Trying to rush. Ooh. Trying to rush and be safe all at the same time it's a task okay hold on now I gotta sanitize my hands before I take my mask off so hold on who 
Child. <sighs> this vid situation, y'all. I just can't. Like, I put my lip oil on and I put my mask on so it takes all my lip oil off and I forget it in the house because now it's like I'm not used to bringing it as often because I'm like, I'm wearing a mask anyway. So it's that, it's trying to rush, it's having bags and now I'm breathing like out of control <laughs> because I'm rushing to the car, trying to rush to the supermarket. But let me just get a little breather and a little water before I head off to the supermarket. But yeah, I love, like if I need something specific and I know that I need it, like I'm looking for something in particular and I know that I need it today, then I'm gonna come to Crate and Barrel or Pottery Barn or wherever to get it because although Home Goods always has little things like that, it's like a hit or miss with Home Goods. Like we all know that is like a hit or miss and you may or may not get it so when i'm just browsing through home goods and it's just like you know window shopping and i see something then i'll grab it but if i really want something like i'm looking for something like i needed a potato ricer if i would have went to home goods girl i would have been stressed out <laughs> now you know how the universe works if i was looking for it i'm not gonna find it but if i'm not looking for it i'm gonna find a gazillion potato ricers so and honestly, it wasn't that much of a big price difference from Home Goods to Crate and Barrel because it was $29 or $29.99 for the potato ricer here. I probably would have gotten it for $15.99 at Home Goods. I'm not sure around there, but it wasn't astronomical here. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me go ahead and go to the supermarket and um go home and start cooking our dinner for tonight. I'll see you guys later. Lunes, yo me llamo tu sana, la gente me dice, ¿cómo es? El rey de la selva. Jane es perfecto, gracias a sus raíces, ¿sabes? ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva. Cuando con mis leones, ah. cazando los ciervos, ¿cómo es? El rey de la selva. Yo soy de fiesta de leones a cerdo, ¿cómo es? El rey de la selva. <tose> Thank you.